Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given exponential equation. And on the left hand side, as you can see, we got nested exponents 9, then power 2, and then power 4x minus 1 divided by 5 equals to 3. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's go ahead and look at the base on the left hand side 9 and here I have copied down 9 and 9 could be written as 3 power 2. So therefore we can write this 9 as 3 power 2 and then power 2 and then power 4x minus 1 divided by 5 equals to 3. Now let's go ahead and use this power rule according to this rule. This on the left hand side could be written as 3 then power 2 times 2 power 4x minus 1 divided by 5 equal to 3. Now on the right hand side 3 could be written as 3 power 1. And now we can see that our bases on the both sides are same 3. So that means we can equate this exponent equal to this one. So therefore we can write it as 2 times 2 power 4x minus 1 divided by 5 equals to 1. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. And we can see that this 2 and 2 they are gone. So we ended up with 2 power 4x minus 1 power 5 equals to 1 over 2. And now let's focus on the right hand side 1 over 2. And here I have copied down 1 over 2 and 2 could be written as 2 power 1. And if I move this 2 on the top, so this could be written as 2 power negative 1. So therefore the right hand side 1 over 2 could be written as 2 power negative 1. And now we can see that we have the same basis on both sides which is 2. As long as the bases are same, we can equate these exponents on both sides. Therefore, we can equate these exponents 4x minus 1 divided by 5 equals to negative 1. And now let's make a fraction negative 1 could be written as over 1. And now we are going to crisscross, cross multiply. So therefore we can write this one as 4x minus 1 equals to negative 5. Now let's go ahead and add 1 on both sides. So they cancel each other out. So we got 4x equal to negative 4. Let's divide both sides by 4 to solve for x. So x turns out to be negative 1 as our solution. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to negative 1 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.